Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. Hmm. Who is that? But this. What did So today I have been just like super stressed with like moving companies. How else is my stuff going to get there? Um, a U-Haul would have to be driven by someone and I I don't know anyone who wants to drive a U-Haul. Some moving companies like pack your stuff for you and I'm like, no. I, I just have like some weird thing about like, I need my stuff packed like my way. Nobody is touching my stuff. Like even Feline tries to help me and I'm like, no might be a control thing it might be part of that ocpd you know what i'm saying so yeah it's hard to find a moving company i've called a few places to get like quotes and like how long it would take to get my stuff there and all of that stuff <laughs> y'all there's been a plot a, like an actual plot twist in my life like, asked like you know are you and fling gonna get back together like have you guys like hooked up or anything and i don't know like what happened last night but we did hook up and this is just like my journey of life and it has definitely been a crazy little plot twist i was not expecting it and it kind of just happened um ugh, i don't even know why i'm sharing this it's just my journey of life like she was worried that i was gonna wake up with regret and i was expecting to wake up with like weird regret and i'm very much the type of person i can't do casual sex um that's just not who i am so i was afraid that like weird feelings were gonna get involved but it's so weird i woke up with no regret we're not getting back together. I know a lot of people think that, assume that. They say that we flirt on camera. I don't know why it happened or how it happened, but it, it just happened. It literally just happened. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of weird because we're not together anymore. We do have that like connection. I don't know what to say, but we just know that we cannot be together. We we can't. This isn't pneumonia. I'm not coughing. I'm not. Baby. Baby. She just slapped my ass. <laughs> I'm drinking out of 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 Like even just through this like, moving journey it's just been so stressful i don't know there's been a little bit of bumping heads for sure are you allowed to show dildos on youtube baby look at this <laughs> am i allowed to show sex toys <laughs> it was a sex toy <laughs> she's about yay long thank you <sighs> and it feels like flesh that's just a little update on on that, um, so. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping I did something good. Why do I have two zucchinis in my hand right now? I don't know if you guys just saw a gnat. Did you guys see that gnat? Lies, 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 yeah. And for like, okay, so this is the day I have to arrive at my apartment. So when do I leave this apartment? When do I turn in the keys? And then this and that. And I've taken some paper and I've taken a pen and I'm like creating a timeline. There's so many little like tiny odds and ends. It's so many I's a dot and T's across and it's just been stressing me out like so much. And we're slowly figuring out because, oh, I just saw the gnat again. But if any of you know of any good like moving companies or whatever, maybe please let me know. There's one that I have in mind that probably makes the most sense and has the best reviews because, oh, I just saw the gnat again. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I'm kind of excited because because tomorrow I have a virtual tour with the apartment that I am going to be moving in. I just have high hopes for this place. So that is what is happening tomorrow. But yeah, the virtual tour is tomorrow and I'll definitely let you guys know how it goes in this vlog. I will say I am a little anxious because we all know sometimes photos don't do the place justice, but and I also found out today that I might be allergic to crab. Yeah, I had some crab today and I noticed every single time I have real crab, my nose itches so bad and when i get seafood boil um it has some potatoes it comes with like a normal side of rice there's some shrimp um crab sausage like when i have sushi it's always imitation crab never have an issue but anytime i have real crab i itch really bad also please remind me never to get seafood boil again me and my girlfriend both woke up super swollen <laughs> sodium and like I never put two and two together. I always blamed it like on the seasoning. So I just thought that's like the craziest thing. So that actually, yeah, that happened. Like we're really close, I'm sorry, but I don't know if you guys can see, like my nose is like super red right here. I was going Doo -doo -doo -doo. like, oh, my nose kind of hurts, I'm not gonna lie. Like, because I was itching like a mad woman. And I heard that a lot of adults start to actually have allergic reactions to shellfish when they're an adult, but then again, when I think back, I've never really had like real crab. Think back, I've never really had like real crab. Had like real crab. So it's mine and my girlfriend's month anniversary, and um, 
I got seafood boil. She gets um, mussels. I get crab, actual crab legs. I get so messy, like this is so messy. It's been like just this year where I've been eating like real crab and I've experienced it every time. And I was like, okay, we need to see what the hell this is. So I don't know, my friend told me that's what it could be. It's definitely adding up for me. If you eat something, it makes you itch, you might be allergic. And if you don't know, now you know. So I'm just in the middle of doing my makeup and Feline goes, what are you shy all of a sudden? I, what you mean? Trump thing was funny. Oh, that I'm making it my phone background? His mic shot? Hey, when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. <laughs> Whatever you want. Grab him by the pussy. He's, uh, he says he's surrendering at 7.30 today. Yeah, she said that Trump's mugshot is gonna be her wallpaper on her phone. What do you guys think of that? Oh my God, I cannot. So, you know what? We're stepping outside of the box today. We're not gonna wear hoops. I'm gonna wear these guys. It's like a little face and it's layered. There's like a black part and a gold part. Today is my, um, Hi. She's right here being cute. Today is my virtual tour, so I'm excited for that. I just finished my makeup. I'm just getting ready for the day. Oh, there she is. Hi. Why do you always want the attention? Oh, she loves being brushed. Yeah. I brush Wasabi once a day. He doesn't mind it, but Rarity is like a few times a day type style because she kind of like loves it and begs for it. Yeah. Oh my God. You're showing your butt to them. Wow. It feels so good outside. It's kind of hot. I'm a little, little hot. I'm not gonna lie. Come on, thing. She was just standing there sniffing the air. But um, yeah, it feels good. She thinks she owns these streets. Yeah, she does. But I've seen hotter days. I have felt hotter days. So plus, I also think it's because I'm wearing something like thinner than usual. Twinkie and I do this walk three times a day, and I've noticed it drastically helps. With my stamina. Lie, lie, and lie some more. <laughs> Y'all, Feline's dreams have just been, like, made true. I'm sorry if you like Donald Trump. My heart is with you. <laughs> he looks so cute. I love that for him. This is, this is gonna be her, this is gonna be her wallpaper. She's also gonna get a poster of it. <laughs> what a cute little mug shot. <laughs> Aww. Okay, you guys, so I want to give a little update on the virtual apartment tour. So I want to say that the apartment looked different than the photos, but in my opinion, I feel like it looked even better during the tour. So I'm very happy about that. Somehow I managed to always make it happen. This is not the first time. This is not my first rodeo of finding an apartment, but something about this time, like knowing that I'm going to be traveling kind of far is I think is what made me more anxious to be honest oh my god just get to the point uh this is completely off topic but that's fine that's me I like to jump all over the place is I asked you guys if you guys want me to do my daily weigh-ins once a week or if you guys want to see them throughout the week because honestly I want to tell you guys throughout the week some people are saying that I'm taking like diuretics or I'm taking a medicine no no I'm actually actively not on any medicine at all not even for my mental health and honestly I haven't felt better medicine definitely messes with your brain and i was getting like accustomed to feeling a certain way and i was on medicine for bipolar for like six years and now that i've been off of it for it's been almost two months now i feel so much better and i've also stopped taking medicine for my anxiety because i haven't really had any self-medicating self-loathing blah blah long story short i have not felt such clear-headed in a very long time and it partially is my fault because i'm never on track and i'm never losing weight like and it's like finally that i am and i don't want to like share what i'm doing and it just makes me so sad that like people would automatically like jump there and assume that just because like i'm on track and i am losing weight but i guess it makes sense as well i guess i can understand why people would be like well is she taking a diuretic like what is she doing so Anyways, um, according to the results, and 63% wants updates throughout the week. So lucky for you guys, I have some weigh-in updates. So Monday was the 21st, so I'm going to put that right here. 528.4 pounds. So I lost over 14 pounds that week for Wednesday, which was yesterday, the 23rd. So I'm going to put that here. 527.4 pounds. So today is actually Thursday, the 24th, and I did weigh in. I'm about to weigh myself. It's literally the middle of the day, but I have on like jewelry I don't want to take off. My bra, but who cares? 524.8 pounds. <gasps> Holy shit. <laughs> so that means 
in 10 days, I'm down over 18 pounds. That's absolutely unbelievable. I feel so much better. Just simple tasks like walking Twinkie. Like things just seem easier and it's only 18 pounds. So I don't know, I feel better. I feel lighter on my feet. Jump. And I am coming closer and closer to telling you guys what I'm doing. I know a lot of people are not gonna agree with it. So don't take my advice, don't follow what I'm doing. Nothing like that. So when the time does come, there will be lots of disclaimers. Do not copy me. Wow, that's a big step. Yeah, I had to give the update. I'm just like so proud. Okay, you guys, it's the end of the night. I wanna finish this video, get it edited, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Come again.